Hey, this is Brock Lemires, and in this video, we are going to talk about the documentation that you're going to need to program this Launchpad board. Uh, this is actually an area that can be a little confusing to beginners, uh, especially, well, in particular, because remember how we discussed that the MSP430 is going to be a family of microcontrollers. So it is going to have a, a data sheet associated with it, a user's guide, and it's going to contain general information about how the entire family works. But then you're also going to have a, a specific uh, data sheet for the microcontroller, the actual microcontroller that you're going to use. And then finally, you're going to have a user's guide for the launchpad board. So you're going to actually have three documents that are critical to understanding the environment that you're programming in. And, and then there's a whole bunch of other ones too, because there'll be things that help you along with uh, with like C programming, cons, you know, syntax and, and assembly language syntax. But the three ones that you really need are gonna be these ones that we just said. So there's gonna be a family user's guide, and it's not for the MSP430 in general, it's actually for the F, MSP430 FR, either 2XX or 4XX. And I put the, the link right here, I'll show you how to find these on the uh, TI website but I put the link right here also. Uh, and then you're also gonna have the specific data sheet for the one we're using, which is the MSP430 FR2355 TPT. And I put the link there, but I'll just show you where to find the most recent one. And then of course you got just the Launchpad development kit. And this is what's gonna tell you about, you know, the IO that are on the little red little board. So let me, let me bring up, uh, let's act like we're doing it from scratch. So if I go to ti.com, one of the, the first places that I'll start is I'll actually go in here and I'll go MSP430FR2355 Launchpad. And this will get me close. Okay, so this will get me close to some to some of the documents. And to save time, I have the, the actual documents already downloaded. But I want to show you, like, how I found these. So I go out to here, and I'm going to see, you know, things related to what I have. It's like, oh, okay, so I got the getting started with this launch pad development kit. I may I want to make sure that I have the right one. So it's FR2355. And what happens is once you find like the product page, it'll have links to other uh, to other you know documents. Okay, so this is the launch pad development kit. Okay, so I click on that. Now it'll get me close. And so now you're finally at a point where it's like, okay, so here's the board. Here's the actual board that you can buy. And what Texas Instruments does is they put links to relevant information. So you can see right here, you got the FR, MSP430 FR2355 Launchpad Development Kit User's Guide. So if I click on that, that is going to give me this document right here. And it's going to tell you about what's on this. So it's going to tell you about, you know, the LEDs and there's a light sensor. And it's going to give you, let's scroll through and kind of see what it's, it's going to show you everything related to the launch pad board. It's not going to tell you anything about how this microcontroller work works. It's just going to tell you things about like, here's the voltages that are provided on this board. Here's this, these LEDs. And if you, one's red, one's green. And if you drive a one to it, it's active high. Oh, and the buttons are active low when they're pressed. And so everything about the peripherals on here on this red board is given in this, uh, this document right here, which is the launch pad development kit. So when I come back to my slides, that's this last one right here, launch pad development. The term launch pad is always synonymous with the red board. Okay. So, okay, cool. Uh, and then let's see. So then another one that it gives you right away from this launch pad is the actual, if I scroll down here, you're going to see a bunch of other things, technical documents, and you're going to have this FR235X microcontroller data sheet. So if you click on that thing, it's actually gonna bring you up to the data sheet for our specific microcontroller. Now, of course, you never get one data sheet for one part. It's always gonna be a bunch of parts. So if you come right here, you're gonna see uh, it's got the FR2355, FR2353, and these two over here. And then notice that these don't even have the packaging on here. So this particular piece of silicon can exist in multiple different packages. We just happen to be in the quad flat pack. <clears throat> okay, so, so when you look at this thing, this is really telling you like what is on the silicon? What, can, what do you have at your fingertips, right? 
and it's and it tells you the family numbers it tells you these different packages that it might have and so this becomes important so let's kind of look through here uh one of the things that's really handy okay so here's the table of contents this becomes pretty handy because you come out here and it's got detailed description interrupt vector addresses this is going to be very important memory organization is important uh, because it's for this specific piece of silicon. The peripherals, once again, this is going to be exactly where you want to be because it's going to tell you specifically for this device. So, for example, here you go. If I wanted the clock distribution, it tells me which clock is driven out to which peripheral. You know, and that's not always, that's not a, a statement you can make for the entire FR or MSP430 family, right? Because there's just too many of them. General purpose I.O., it tells you that you have port one, port two, port three, port four, and that, that port five and six are five and seven bits. When I gave you that information before, I found it in this device specific data sheet. And so then this is gonna tell you like where things are going on, on pinouts, okay? It's gonna give you the specific vector addresses. Uh, so this is, just think about this as specific to the chip itself, okay? All right, so then I go back, and now what I need is the third document, if it, well, actually, if I go back to my PowerPoint slide, that's the second one right here, the microcontroller data sheet. Now, if I go back and I want to see the MSP430 family, this one is not linked within the Launchpad board. So what I ended up having to do was I actually just went to ti.com, and I, I just happened to know it. So I'll just tell you. <laughs> it's MSP430 uh, FR user's guide. Oh, I didn't type FR, FR user's guide. So they, they break the family into kind of these uh, technology things. So when I come down here, I'm scrolling down looking for it and I'm looking for a user's guide. Uh, so it's FR, it's actually gonna be FR2 user's guide. So you come down here and it's like, oh, okay, we're getting close. Uh, I think that this one is it right here. I'll jump to what, the actual document we're looking for is, and it is right here. Okay, so it's FR2XX and FR4XX, and this is the user's guide. Now, notice the size of this. This is the monster, right? We call it the monster. 676 pages. This thing right here is huge because it describes the detailed operation of the entire family, all right? So it's not gonna have specific information about the pinouts of this part we're using but it's gonna have information about all the instructions that are implemented, for example, within the, uh, within the family. So if I come out here to CPU X, you know, it's not just CPU, it's gotta be CPU X, just cool. It's gonna have like, here's the register information, you know, here's your addressing modes that you can use. Uh, here's the instructions. If I come out here and I wanna see like specific instructions for the MSP430 family, I can see the mnemonics in here and I can see how they operate and whether they alter the flag bits. This is important because if you think about it, you're, you're sitting there and you want to, you want to go find how a specific instruction works, right? I want to know how the move instruction specifically works. If you go to the launch pad development kit users guide, it's not going to tell you anything about that because it's just talking about the red board. If you go to the mix signal or the microcontroller specific data sheet, the data device specific data sheet, it's not going to have it either because there is a user's guide for the entire family, which already has it in there. So they do a really good job of not duplicating information. But think about like instructions. That's something that is at the family level that is exists in all the specific ones, specific data sheets. And so you'd look for it there. Pinouts. Where would you find pinouts? Well, it isn't going to be in the family user's guide because this is a very generic uh, description of how this family works. It's going to be in the device specific data sheet. Let's do one more. How do you know what pin a red LED is connected to on the launchpad board? That's not going to be in the family user's guide. They don't know where you're going to plop your silicon down into. It's not going to be in the microcontroller data sheet because they don't know what you're loading this part onto. It's going to be in the launchpad development uh, kit. And like I said, this is actually one of the, the more confusing things when you start doing this because it's hard to just wrap your brain around like where information is. The monster, the family overview is 676 pages. 
the device, let's look at the device specific one. This one is gonna be 138, still a pretty sizable <laughs> document. And then the Launchpad Development Kit Users Guide, it's only 32, so that feels really good. Okay, so that's those are the documentation. So you're gonna need those three documents right now. Go download those and have them in a folder because you're gonna access them constantly as you learn to program this microcontroller. Okay, that's it. Uh, remember, subscribe to my channel so you're always up to date on the latest videos.